What's up, everyone? This is Christian Duke, and you are watching Strength Addicts here on Instagram Live, brought to you courtesy of BlackstoneLabs.com, the holy grail of hardcore bodybuilding supplements. Be sure to check out the Blackstone Labs Legion. And again, the Blackstone Labs line is perfect for anyone looking to gain muscle, lose weight, feel great, just get a pump in the gym. Go to BlackstoneLabs.com. Also, big thank you to our supporting sponsor, TitanMedicalCenter.com, for amazing therapies like TRT, Nectar of the Gods, Titan Complete, and the brand new ECA Plus stack that has a whole fitness industry talking. Guys, I do want to let you know that the interview with Tony Burton, the mutant out of the 212 division, has been pushed forward to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5.30 p.m. PDT. Uh, he had some plane delays, but he will be on here shortly. He had an amazing 2021 winning the Indy Pro, and then going on to placing top 10 at the 2021 212 Olympia Showdown, his second ever appearance on that stage, getting top 10 is a huge accomplishment. So uh, tonight I have uh, Carissa uh, Miller, and she'll be joining me, and she's very new to the Legion. She is doing a transformation as am I, and I thought it would be really cool to bring her on and talk to her about that. And uh, before I do bring her on, <clears throat> I just want to say hello to Everybody that came on, so I appreciate it. Uh, Jerrica, uh, we got Corporal Nutrition on the muscle. Andy Oliver, Rocco's in the house. That's awesome. Uh, modern day Winston Churchill. Wow, that is a very cool name. Um, be sure to see Blackstone Labs. Oh, that's very nice. You can go away now. Uh, we have Antonio Gonzalez. We have Stephanie in the house, RRK. And I was so excited to see this corporal nutrition. I thought, wow, like a new, like a new person, and it turns out to be an asshole. Anyways, let me go ahead and bring on Michelle, and uh, I mean Carissa, well, Carissa, Michelle. They both work. I'm not totally wrong. I'm just about a little bit wrong. We're gonna talk about our transformation. It's gonna be a lot of fun. What's up, Cody? How's it going? What's up? Hey. How are you? Good. How are you? I always chop my head off when these things start. I'm gonna have to back up here. It's the joys of Instagram. Right. So um, you are very new to the Legion. You told me that you've been in for about uh, about a month. Is that right? I've been using a product for about a month. I started uh, with the Legion September 23rd. So like two weeks or something yeah. like that. Yeah. That's big. fantastic. So you would be probably one of the newest Legion member interviews that I've done, but I don't have a criteria. Like you don't have to have been in the Legion for like, you know, well, not 10 years, it hasn't been around for 10 years, but uh, you wouldn't have to have been around for two years or two days. It's it's your transformation that I think is so interesting. And uh, we correspond a little bit on the Legion page. So before anything, uh, how did you discover the Legion? Um, actually, my boyfriend, Andy Oliver, he is a part of the Legion and mm -hmm. he's my personal trainer and nutritionist. So he actually was like, why don't you become a part of this? Like your story is is all over the place let's just build on that and help with them definitely and i saw something that i think it was a post that uh maybe it was a recent post but you've lost like i think like 15 or 16 pounds in, in just about as many days like 15 16 days or something like that yeah it's insane right now with <laughs> my diet with the carnitrim and my workouts i am losing a pound a day so. it's a fantastic product a lot of people love it it's, it, it's a sort of a new product at blackstone and uh, it's totally natural, safe for men and women. You can take it all year round. But yeah, that's an amazing testimony. That's really cool. So what, what exactly are you doing training wise? Uh, we'll get into the, into the nutrition later, but what are you doing training wise? I mean, you're at the gym now. I mean, I, I mean you're pretty serious. So there you are, yeah. <laughs> um, so what I'm doing is I add cardio and weightlifting. So when I started my journey about two years ago, I was 405 pounds. I'm down to about 266. So thank you. Yes, and it's awesome. I'm adding weights. I'm adding cardio. I'm adding everything I possibly can. I'm here about 80 minutes to two hours. So I'm definitely very dedicated. That is so cool. You know, and also kudos on putting out your starting weight because, you know, a lot of people say, you know, women are real weird about that, but men are really weird about that too, right? Like right. nobody wants to talk about their starting weight, even though, like they may be like way uh, ahead of it now. Like, like in other words, like I've lost a lot just because of, I think the fact that people are very self-conscious, especially in the gym, because you know, you, there's people that have, you know, like the rip six and eight packs, you know, right. and like the shredded quads and like, you're like, 
you know, but I kudos to you for that because everybody starts somewhere. And the people that start out being ripped, I mean, screw them. Like, you know, they're going to burn in hell. I'm just kidding. But like, right, like everybody you're starts lucky. Out, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's people like, I hate people that are like, you know, they're like, they're like, I don't hate them, but like they're skinny by nature. They eat everything. And then they preach to you about eating clean. But like, my man, I saw you eating at, at Golden Corral like five days a week. Right, you but had no, Taco Bell yesterday. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> Right. Yeah. It takes a lot of hard work. No, dude, your metabolism is jacked. But no, I think it's great that you start out. Stephanie Schuess, who I interviewed last week or two weeks ago, it's like a fog. It's like all my interviews are like, I, I, I just, my sense of time is terrible. She's lost, I think, like 45 pounds. Is that right, Stephanie? And she's also, so I think that the, the, the transformations are so powerful. Like right now I've lost, I'm close to a hundred pounds. I'm doing this thing yes. with TJ. Yeah. We're by December 31st, I got to be 250 and I'm at 277. And it's like, it's great. And it's, but it's not just about losing weight, right? Because, you know, you want to like, you don't want to put muscle on, you want to do it the right way. So with training, like when you go in the gym, like what's your, like today you're training legs. So obviously I'm going to try to keep you as long as possible because nobody likes training legs, but. Oh, I actually love it. Honestly, I hate my arms. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, me, you know, it's weird to have like a love hate with shoulders. I don't really like training shoulders, but I like how they look. Right. So I just, it's kind of weird. Um, do you do, does every workout have cardio or are there cardio only days and weights only days? How do you do that? Um, so every day I'm doing cardio. So my boyfriend is the trainer, um, here where I'm at right now. And so while he has clients, I'm doing like hit cardio with slam ball, the kettlebells, the mm. um, ropes. And then I go on to the treadmill. Once he's done, then I'm on weights. Very cool. Very cool. So there's a lot of structure to it, which is good. I like spontaneity, but you know, sometimes spontaneity can, can actually, um, it can backfire really because it's fun to, you know, keep the body guessing. Yeah. It's fun to just kind of like, you know, just, you know, just, just gamble and just trip. But the thing is like structure is good because like, you know, you, you have like a set list of things that you have to do. Mm -hmm. And and I think that's good. I think accountability is really important. And it doesn't get any easier in a transformation. Like, you, you know, right now, these next 27 pounds, I think are going to be harder than practically the 100 I've already lost. Yeah. You... Um, because when I was 400, uh, over 400, the first like 100 pounds just melted off. Now I, I added the the fat burner, I added more days to my workout and stuff like that. So I'm working out 10 times harder. But then again, if you think about it, you're hitting your goal, and then it's going to be more satisfying once you do. Right. And, I, I, and there's people out there that are probably like that maybe are 400 pounds or more, or that are, are like, you know, I started out, I was, I was like, the heaviest I got, now granted, I'm 6'5", and that's kind of like, when I say that, granted, I'm 6'5", that's just like my, my pride trying to like, like, you know, protect myself because <laughs> I just said that I was almost 400 pounds. It's just weird. Like, that's why I gave you kudos earlier about just being so like um you know j just so like 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 raw that you could put that out there and not say oh but i'm also tall or you know i also have to you know walk 10 miles to work like you didn't do any of that you just said i was 405 pounds and so kudos to you for that but um but yeah i got up to like 390 or something like that and six five 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 eight five whatever that's a lot of weight and, and right. that's just not normal that's not healthy normal that's another one that would make me like but um <laughs> yeah but no, but I, I think, no, honestly, like people out there hearing you say that the first hundred pounds melted off, they would be like, how, how, how is that possible? Like, there's just no way, but, but there is a way though, because like, if you, if you've been totally sedentary, not wa watching what you eat, not taking supplements, not training, not saying that that was your case, but I'm saying if that was the case, and then all of a sudden you just, you know, it was 180. I, yeah, it could. How long did it take you to lose the first hundred pounds? Well, I kind of went on and off. It was before, like I was dedicated in 2017 is where I lost like my first 40 and then it just kind of gradually went over sorry it kind of just gradually went back up and then back down and kept on going yeah. fluctuating but the past two years is where I really hit hard that's awesome and Rocco says we're both killing him really appreciate it. Rocco's a police officer in Illinois he's shredded looks fantastic his sister it, Anna Maria yeah she works at the call center she's amazing and they're both like, they're like my favorite people. That brother and sister duo there is like my favorite people. So I appreciate it very much. And I'm going to see if there's any other comments. We got a uh, uh, flex uh, nutrition. That's that guy is just an amazing asset. The Blackstone labs 82 J fit is my good friend. 
from Tennessee, and she also did an amazing transformation. And she, I believe, is on her path to becoming a figure competitor. Uh, you know, so she's just amazing. Steph Loki, uh, of course, from the Legion and Blackstone Labs. I have to be pro from Australia. She's awesome. Um, we got Kusei, who I don't know who that is. God of Shade. Uh, Omni Muscle is amazing. He's a really, really cool guy. He's on the, he's on the gear now, so he's going to blow up. He's going to be massive. Oh, yes. Yeah. But, but he has a very good attitude, though. So he's not going to be like, you know, like punching walls or anything like that, <laughs> flipping over cars, I don't think. Yeah, we got RK Fitness. Yeah, so a lot of cool people and, and some other folks up there. I didn't, I, I'm just terrible about reading comments. Now, food wise, though, um, Carissa, what, what is, and that's how you say your name, right, Carissa? Yep. You actually okay, cool. perfect, which is rare. <laughs> perfect. Because I always tell people if I butcher your name, my last name is Duke. But if I butcher your name, you call me Dukey, which I, 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 it doesn't bother me, but people do it. They think it gets a rise out of me. But hey, if, if I butcher your name, you butcher mine. But, but in terms of, <laughs> yeah, in terms of food, though, what, what do you, are you doing like, like keto or low fat? Or are you doing intermittent fasting? Or are you just eating like, what are you doing? Honestly, he's been doing all my meal prepping, so I don't cheat. <laughs> um, okay. But it's mostly just like chicken, rice, and veggies. It's been okay. on and off. But we add so many spices that each dish tastes totally different. Right. Like we'll okay. add the like, Cajun or slap your mama, garlic, and random stuff like that. Yeah, just like, <laughs> That's so funny from the Friday series where he actually hits his mom. He's like, you're not supposed to hit your mom. But, but the thing is, like, so, so with fats, so what do you do? Do you, do you like olive oil or coconut oil or like, cause I mean, chicken, veggies and rice, that that's a lot of protein and carbs, but do you get your fat in like with peanut butter or, or what do you do? Honestly, every now and then I'll have like a protein shake, but I haven't really added much fat yet. Okay. I think that's we're interesting. strictly like hard, but I don't know how it's happening, but a pound a day is ridiculous. Yeah, no, I mean, again, it, it you know, Honestly, like the fat, you may not even need. I mean, I, we all need a little bit of fat. Use of the protein shakes. I think the isolation shakes, I believe, have one gram of saturated fat, which is very, very little. It's hardly anything, but you know what I mean. Like if you're losing and you're, you know, you're getting protein and you're getting carbs, and you you seem very energetic. So oh, yeah. I mean, that's good. And the carnage I think is really helping too. Like I said, it's totally hormone free, but it's just like it's such a, it's such a great product. And everybody that I know, I take carnage, but I gotta stop myself because. You know, I'm eating like three or four meals a day, but mm -hmm. I want to take carnitine with each meal, but I, I just do two. I don't want to like go yeah. overboard, but I try to just do two, but it's just an amazing product and it really makes a difference. I definitely do love it. It, it cleans you out like your first like couple of weeks that I was nervous, mm -hmm. but yeah. honestly that just, it helps me like stay focused and I'm like, I'm super hyper all the time. <laughs> like right. I have way more energy granted like 30 pounds and however long we'll be fine for sure well i'm so i'm so uh yeah it's okay if you got to talk to people it's totally fine um <laughs> Sorry. i'm so proud of what you're doing i'm gonna try to like i'm gonna try to get you a bottle of recomp uh okay. sent out to you because i think that um i don't usually do that but I, I just think that you would really love it now recomp rx is probably like one of the bedrock supplements of blackstone labs okay. but um and and you, you probably won't notice a lot of differences while you're on it but like once you jump off of it i think you're gonna like i don't know that you're gonna lose more than a pound a day because that's pretty insane but i <laughs> you you will it, it's one of those it's, it's weird it's, it's a product that you really notice once you come off of it so okay. but i think once you run a bottle of it and again it's, it's it's hormone free it's safe for men and women i think you'll absolutely love it but ask ask andy uh if you can have it or not and then if, if he says you can have it then i'll see to it that you get a bottle of it because i okay. think you'll really really like it yeah. yeah, for sure. It does it have like a lot of like the caffeine in it. No, 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 no. There's no the lights shut off. Yeah, Go. yeah. Recomp is amazing. It's absolutely great. Like, yeah, like flex. It's really, really good. You'll love it. And it was actually just out of stock recently. Mm -hmm. Kind of like like log goes out of stock, and, uh, and and they go out of stock because no matter how much of it we have it just sells out, which is a, right. you know, it's a great problem to have. You know, we try not to be sold out of anything, obviously, but like, it's just like demand is so high, you know? Um, and then, and then with regards to rest days, I mean, like, do you have like one or two? I mean, is there like, like a, a day during the week where you just do nothing or are you constantly uh, staying active? We mostly have our rest days, Saturdays and Sundays. We use like that as our family day. We'll either go up north to see his or come to my parents' house. Um, but this week, we're trying to see how far we can push it. 
um, and we're going to try to do seven. Okay. Straight days. You know, it, you know it, it's cool, though. It's cool to do that, though. It's cool to go to the extreme too, but it's also good to feel like a normal human being and to have your Saturday and Sunday or at least a day a week just to, you know, you know, completely disengage uh, both, you know, mentally, but also physically because the body does need to rest. But mm -hmm. I've, I've seen people like what they'll do is they'll, they'll, they'll do like, I don't know, like five days a week of cardio and lifting. And then the other two days, just cardio. So in a way the body's not being like, you know, the, the tendons and the ligaments are not being strained by lifting right. those two days, but you're still kind of exercising. And so I think at least one day, I mean, even God rested one day. So, I mean, it's just like at least one day would be, would be good. Um, so we've talked about, we've talked about your eating. We've talked about your training, your rest days. Now water, I would imagine your hydration would probably be really important, right? Especially doing yes. all this activity. Like how much water are you getting in per day? A gallon. And then sometimes depending on how strenuous my workout is, I fill my gallon back up and I have about another half. And that's also really good. And I know you know this, and a lot of the folks watching this that'll watch this also later probably know it as well, but water also fills you up. Mm -hmm. So it kind of keeps the hunger down a little bit, but it's also so important, you know, for your, for your, you know, your skin and your, your internal organs or kidneys, everything. I mean, water works, I think we're like, what, 70 or 75% water is really, really important. Yeah. Oops. One other thing I'm curious about, I'm curious about a lot of things, but one other thing I'm curious about, what's your sleep been like? I sleep well <laughs> that one sometimes I get eight hours but sometimes we end up talking most of the night <laughs> and realize okay. we're only getting like like five or six but we try to tend to have like a strict sleep schedule as well okay. my whole yeah. life completely changed <laughs> right no I mean that's that's so important because like also, like now, now you when you asked me about recomp with, with caffeine, are you are you uh, on any stimulants or, or you're not into that at all? Um, no, I have uh, what's called Wolf Parkinson White. It's a heart condition. I did have a few surgeries um, to get rid of it, and they stated that it was it was cured. But every now and then, my heart rate jumps really high. So when it comes to certain caffeines or a certain amount of caffeines, it, my heart rate will just skyrocket. A lot of people in the industry, a, a lot of people, PJ is one, Dave Palumbo is another. There's quite a few people, like I would say influencer people in the industry that are not big on stems at all. Mm -hmm. And so when you had asked about Recomp, which does not have any stems at all, uh, I, I just, I, that kind of stuck with me a little bit. But, but no, I mean, you know, in, in a way, uh, you know, in a way it, it's a godsend that you're not taking stimulus for whatever the reason may be because so many people abuse them mm -hmm. where they're taking upwards of a gram of caffeine a day, which is insane. I mean, a gram is like, that's like three bang energies and a cup of coffee a day. No. And so, yeah. And so we have, we have uh, anesthetized, which is a fantastic product that, that really truly helps people go to sleep. But, 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 but within reason though, if somebody's taking, you know, three, four cans of bang plus two, three cups of coffee, plus a couple cans of Coke, eating chocolate, which is packed full of caffeine as well. Uh, and, you know, an exercise is going to work, but you're still not going to get eight hours probably, you know, because right. your body's just so so amped up. Your adrenals are all out of whack. Everything's out of whack. So so in a way, it's, it's kind of kind of awesome that you've been able to lose all this weight and not use stimulants. I think that's pretty damn cool. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Because I, I unfortunately am a caffeine junkie, but I'm trying to like, I'm trying to taper off, especially late at night because I say, that caffeine has no effect on me, but of course it does. It has an effect on mostly everybody. So what, what is your target uh, weight? Like, what is it that you're, you're, like your goal weight, if you had a goal weight, or are you just gonna go till you, like your, like what's the goal? My goal weight is 180. And then after that, I like, at first I didn't think that was even realistic, but now that I'm, the way I'm going, it's definitely a possibility. Mm -hmm. um, and then I wanna start cutting. I like start like not getting ripped per se, but like, you know, looking toned and it, at the way that we're going, I'm not going to have to have skin surgery, which is a miracle. Awesome. And, and, uh, do you know how to roller skate? No, <laughs> no, Damn. I did at one point, but you know, mm. for oh, well, somebody okay. to... are, are you aggressive at all? I am very aggressive. Perfect. See, now what we, what we should do is get you back on roller skates and get you angry and then when you hit that 180 you could do roller derby because that is so cool 
And those girls are like really muscular, they're, but they're not ripped, but they are very aggressive and, and, and they're mean, and you're not mean, but they're only mean while they play though. Right. Otherwise they're, yeah. I can, I can be aggressive, like, especially if I'm mad, I'm aggressive when I'm mad, but then yeah. like, on the other hand, I'm just like, okay, say what you want. I mean, I've been Definitely. cyber bully for two years straight. So I'm like, cool, give me something new. <laughs> For sure. No, and now, you know, and that that's you. Uh, and I know I told you 10 to 15 minutes, but but if we go a little bit longer, it'd be oh, awesome. We're good. Um, yeah, the cyberbullying, that's one thing that that really, unfortunately, is an issue. And I've seen people that uh, they will fat shame, but they will not like, um, they may not fat shame someone they know, uh, but they will use a overweight person in a meme to make a joke even if it's not directed at anyone they particularly know, it's, it's just a bad vibe. And that's not going to really like uh, lead anyone to improving, uh, you know, their, their, their body. It's just going to create like all sorts of body dysmorphia. And, and it may even result in some people going off, you know, and, and commit, you know, doing self harm to themselves. So I, I, I don't like that, but it, there's a lot of that, unfortunately, in the industry, none of it in the Legion, because we don't put up with that, but, but in the industry, yeah. there's a little bit of that. Oh yeah. I've, uh, I've been dealing with the fat shavings for, well, since January of 2020, it's just been nonstop. But now, like at first it, it, it hurt, you know, like it was very upsetting and I was, you know, yeah. down on myself, hating myself, all of that kind of stuff. Now I look at that as motivation and then I go to a boxing bag and I let all my anger out. Then I go to weights. That's awesome. And like 82J Fit says, yeah, they're keyboard warriors. A lot of these people... I mean, a lot of them may also be overweight. Like, like mm -hmm. I'm overweight. They may be overweight, but they may hate themselves. They may want to just, right. just attack people, or they may just be like really shredded people with amazing physiques that just feel the need to, you know, put others down to feel good about them. So I don't know what it is. That's their that's their psychology. But, but right. yeah, it is unfortunate. And then Omni Muscle, you know, Omni Muscle uh, for a long time, you know, uh, would not make videos and would not talk. And and, and he was he's an amazing writer, a fantastic writer, very creative person. Um, but you know, he, he, like he says, he goes through cyberbullying on, on a daily basis and in the Legion, we don't put up with it, but the Legion is, is, uh, um, it, it's almost like a, like a, like a, like a shelter type situation because we don't, so. we don't allow sexism. We don't allow racism. We don't allow cyberbullying, but, but, but the, the perfect like thing that we have, uh, once you leave the Legion orbit and you're in that fitness industry, where anything goes, you're dealing with some, you know, you could be dealing with some potential scumbags and, 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 and they may be popular, but right. like he's doing more videos and his videos are amazing. And he's, and he's getting better at him and he's more comfortable, you know? And, and, um, and I know that when you get to the target weight, when I get to the target weight, I'm not going to be like one of these, like, I feel like there's people, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like there's people that were once heavy that got to the look they wanted. And now they're some of the people that are shaming fat people. Right. Yeah. No, my, my whole thing is the reason why I post my workout videos, the reason why I talk about fitness left and right is because I want to motivate other people mm -hmm. that have either been cyber bullied, have body dysmorphia, like they're just upset with themselves. Um, mm -hmm. my boyfriend actually has a client here that she was, she was very upset. She was not happy coming into the gym. I worked out with her one day. She has a smile on her face. So mm -hmm. that like helping others is my main goal. Right. For sure. And then Brian, uh, what's up, John, John Benavides and Brian hey. makes a great comment. You know, he says um, he was bullied when he uh, so okay. Um, I was bullied for being heavy, then got bullied when I competed. You can never win. And that's the other thing too. 100%. Some people, yeah, they get bullied for being competitors. You know what I mean? They get bullied like, like, uh, you know, maybe they, they take their Tupperware to work and they don't bother anybody. You know, they, they may, may not, may not even go into the, into the, into the lounge to microwave their food. They may just eat it cold in their office just so they don't get, but even still people will poke fun at them. They'll be like, are you eating normal food today or just anything. And there, and, and some of the, some of the jabs aren't necessarily all that bad, but, but they put the person like they, 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 they out the person and nobody else in the office, like knows what they're talking about, understands the process. So in a way they're, they're kind of like a, like a, like an outcast, you know? Right, of and, course. Um, so I don't really understand that. 
but it seems like you're a very popular person because you keep walking around the gym. Avoiding. Oh, I was just I was just in the room and she wanted to turn up her music, so I'm gonna go to a quieter oh, place. Oh, <laughs> that's cool though. That's cool. But but I mean, uh, now let me ask you. Don't tell me what city you're in because you might live in a city population 100. But where? What state are you in? Michigan. I knew it because I knew Andy was in Michigan, but I wanted to be sure <laughs> yep. that he didn't just take a picture there. Okay, cool. No. Yeah, I went to Cooley to law, Cooley Law School, so I lived in Lansing for. Uh, six years, and then I lived in Novi for another two. So I, I love Michigan. What what, uh, what what part are you, without saying specifics? Uh, like the Detroit metro area. Okay, cool. Very cool. Very cool. That was actually him cool. passing up. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. When you guys hit your – when you hit that target, well, you've got to go uh, to Astoria Bakery in Greektown. And okay. you've got to get baklava. What's up, my man? How are you? Pretty good. How are you? Good, good. We're talking about the diet and the training and all the awesome things that Carissa is doing and that you're helping her with, which is really, really awesome. And I can't get over how she's losing a pound a day with no caffeine. That's amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's insane. Like all my clients have done that. It's insane. When am I going to interview you though? I mean, you said one, we tried to set one up like a while ago, but I don't have access to my old email. So if you want to hit me up with my old email, I'll send it to you. Okay, but let's do one of these soon. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right, Carissa. Well, I'm going to let you go train legs. What right. are you going to do for legs? Tell us what you're going to do. Well, I want it. Can, can I do it? Yeah. Um, I did a 770 uh, leg press, and I want to try to get more than just one rep. Nice. Look at you smiling and all that. That's so awesome. You're like a gym rat at heart. That's fantastic. I am. I am addicted. That's for sure. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. So make sure you take your current gym, and make sure you ask Andy if I can send you that recomp. Oh, and yeah, 100%. okay, cool. Very yeah, cool. You can send her whatever you want. <laughs> okay, good. But I want her to take it though. That's the thing. Oh, yeah, though. So yeah. she's got to ask you. You know, I've been with a lesion for a long time, so I know what everything does. So, okay. And she's, she's, you know, she's, she's awesome. I and mean, we're talking about you as if you're not in the room now, Carissa, but she, she's awesome because, you know, uh, as a, as a great client, you know, she asks you everything before she trains, before she... Now, some people might say that's robotic. It's not. That's part about being a great client. That way, if you fail, you can blame your coach. But if you don't do what your coach says, then, you know, you're on your own. But yeah, so she's been awesome. She says how you've helped her with her training and her eating and everything and how you guys talk too much at night and don't sleep, everything. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so very much uh, for doing this. I really appreciate it. Of course. Thank you. Definitely, definitely. So for uh, Carissa, Michelle Miller, this is Christian Duke, strengthaddicts.com. Thanks, guys. Thank you. You're welcome.